Hello, everyone. Welcome to our Fine BI training for beginners. Before we get started, let me brief you about this course. This course is designed for business users who are new to Fine BI or project managers who need to do basic Fine BI training. The course helps you think more like business analysts by teaching you how to use Fine BI and its most used features in the same case. Through this course, you will be able to get started with Fine BI quickly, and when the course is over, you will be able to use Fine BI by yourself for simple business analysis. Now, let's open Fine BI to see how its different interfaces work. First, we need to download Fine BI from the website and install it on our own computers. Then run Fine BI, and you'll see a small window like this and a browser page that automatically opens. If you close the browser page by mistake, you can open it again by clicking on server URL in the small window. On this browser page, you can set the administrator account. Then, you can use your account and password to log in to Find BI. Now that we have logged in as the administrator, we can see five modules on the left side of the BI main interface, directory, my analysis, public data, manage, and data development. Since this course is designed for business users, we will focus on the modules that business people usually use, namely directory, my analysis, and public data. Let's start by looking at public data, as preparing the data is the first step in data analysis. The administrator can create new folders in public data and add tables that are often used to public data so that other users can access the data as they go. My analysis is where we do all of our analysis. Here, we can make analysis subjects, add data to them, and process the data in them. You can ask for the process data to be made public so that other users can use it. We can also use charts or dashboards to analyze the data in the subject. Once the analysis is done, we can share the subject with other users. Then, they can check it and make changes under Collaborated to me. We can publish a finished dashboard in directory. It will be listed in the directory once the administrator has given permission for it to be published. In the first two sections, we learned what Find BI is and how the Find BI interface works. In this section, we'll walk you through a hands on exercise. That will help you learn the basics of Find BI in just five minutes. The data used in this analysis is a data file in Excel format about signing a contract, which you can download from Help Document. Get started with Find BI in five minutes. Of course, you can use your own data for the exercise as well. If you have any problems while learning, you might look through the Help Document, which will make your learning go more smoothly. Now let's run Find BI. All of our analysis is done in My Analysis. Click on My Analysis on the left to go to the My Analysis page and create a new subject under All Analysis. After creating a new subject, you'll go into the interface to edit it. The first step after entering the page is to add data. Since we're going to use local Excel data in this section, we click on Local Excel, choose our sample data, and upload it to Find BI. Then we click OK in the upper right corner and the data is successfully added to our subject. Now that the data has been successfully uploaded, we can edit it on this page. You can see that the products purchased column in our data should be a text type, but it is now shown as a number type. By clicking on the button in front of the table header, we can change the type of this field. When you're done making changes, click Save and Update in the upper right corner. After the data has been edited, it can be used for a visual analysis. If our data is good enough, we can skip this step of editing and go straight to the next one, which is data visualization. At the bottom of the page, we can see that a default component has been made and that the data we just edited is being used by that component. Let's make a table to show the details of the contract. Drag and drop contract signing time, type of contract, contract payment type, contract ID, products purchased, purchase quantity, total amount into the analysis area on the right. Choose group table as the chart type, and when you're done, double-click the component at the bottom of the page to rename it as contract detail table. 
The next step is to look at how many purchases were made for each type of contract. Click the Add Component button at the bottom, then drag the type of contract into dimensions and the purchase quantity into indicators. At this point, we find that the data table is not clear enough, so we can change the chart type to a partitioned column chart so we can see the differences between the data. The last step is to change the name of the component to Analysis of Purchase Quantity by Contract Type. Once the analysis is done, we can add different components to the same dashboard to make a visual dashboard that shows the results of the analysis to others. We click the Add Dashboard button at the bottom of the page, drag and drop the two components we just made into the dashboard, and resize and move them to make the dashboard look better. By then, all of the analysis has been done. If we want to share our analysis results and process with colleagues, we can click on the three dots to the right of the analysis subject in the top left corner of the page, find collaboration, and click it to collaborate with other users on the subject. For example, if we collaborate this analysis subject to Yoko, we will give him permission to use and edit this subject. Then, we can log into Yoko's account to see if we can find the analysis subject under the folder, Collaborated to Me, in My Analysis, and then we can view or edit the subject. In this section, we learn that the basic steps for business users to use Find BI for analysis are to create a new analysis subject, add data, analyze data and share and publish data.